Hey folks, this is Billy DKY, the truth seeker that simplifies and demystifies. This is going to be UFC 108 predictions, Dustin Hazlett versus Paul Daly. I think this fight all boils down to Dustin is good on the feet and the ground, and Paul is only good on the feet. So basically, Dustin has more ways to win. I think really all Dustin has to do is basically survive the stand-up war. He can strike with him. Then he can change levels, and then he can submit him. I think it all boils down to that simple. So, you know, I didn't know anything about Paul Daly because I, I don't know if they showed the Dustin Hazel, I mean, the Paul Daly versus Mark Campman fight on uh, UFC or not. I didn't, I don't remember seeing it live. Maybe I didn't watch that one or something, but, um, but I did watch Dustin, I mean, uh, Paul Daly fight Jake Shields, which Jake's seem to have you know seem to be losing that fight at least in the second round what I what I was able to see and then all of a sudden Jake takes him down and I mean he just had his way with him on the ground it's just like he was just like a, a dummy doll or something it was just it was amazing how it does, you know Paul wasn't even fighting really so anyway I don't I, I see once Dustin gets in the ground it's just it's you know maybe the first round Paul will put up a scramble, but it's not like I didn't I didn't see any techniques getting out of the uh, bottom position. So, okay, Dustin, in my opinion, Dustin looked really good against Josh Koscheck. Basically, he I think if I remember this correctly, hits he hits Koscheck with a punch, knocks Koscheck down temporarily, and I was really thinking there for a second this boy is going to school with Josh Koscheck on the feet, you know, quicker and. You know, he come back, you know, obviously Koscheck knocks him out, but, I mean, he looked really good until he got clipped, so I think the guy can handle his own with uh, Daly on the uh, on the feet. I ain't saying he'll, he's necessarily going to win or knock Daly out, but, you know, he could. So, anyway, so let's see. How could Dustin win? I think Dustin's most likely way to win is on the ground, which I've already sort of alluded to. I don't see Daly putting up any real defense other than Maybe he's good at scrambling and getting back to his feet, which I think that'll wear out in the second or third round. So if Dustin's able to not get knocked out, and you know, while he's weathering the storm, then I see him submitting, uh, daily taking him down and submitting him. I think Dustin, like I said, Dustin, I think Dustin can knock daily out, but why risk it when you're far superior on the ground, you know, so... I'm not for laying and praying, but I think this is one of those fights where it makes sense to lay and pray. Why why even mess with it when you can take the guy down and submit him? So, I also think Dustin could win a decision. However, I don't see this fight going to decision, which I'll discuss here in a minute. How could Daly win? I think Daly's most likely way to win is by knockout. Uh, he could win a decision in this fight. He isn't going to submit Dustin. The only way he would possibly submit Dustin is if he had Dustin almost knocked out and he just walks into the submission. So his ground game looked weak, like I say, real weak. And at, at this stage of the game in MMA, you can't be one-dimensional because if you're one-dimensional, some guy can take a punch or take a glance and blow and take you down and submit you. So, Like I said, I don't see this fight going to the decision at all but if it does i see daily winning it because it meant that dustin was not able to take daily to the ground and so basically it wind up being a stand-up war with sprawling and keeping the takedown which meant you know which meant dustin had to stand up with paul daily the whole three rounds which you know i i think if you stand three rounds completely with daily you're in a you might be in some serious trouble, so like I say, I, I, if it, if it goes to the decision, I see Daly winning it. Okay, and like I say, I, I really think this could be one of the better fights of the night. You know, i like I said on the other video, I think there's Shad Evans, Thiago Silva. I think it's actually going to be a boring fight as much as I think it should be an exciting fight. I just think it's one of those Houston Alexander Kimbo slice fights is going to. Has the potential to be everything, but ain't gonna wind up being anything. So, hopefully, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm praying I'm wrong. However, I don't think I am. 
Probability breakdown, I'm going to give a 65% to Hazlett and 35% to Daly. And again, it's just, it all boils down that, that Daly has no ground game, nor no substantial ground game, and Hazlett's got, you know, pretty much won all his fights by submission, and Daly's all by knockout almost. I mean, not everyone, but that's, that's the pattern that they follow. And uh, so I think it's pretty much a no-brainer. Obviously, Daly could knock him out but in the first round or something. But anyway... Next thing, I have an MMA training video out there for anybody that's training MMA, or if you're not training MMA, you're just curious about what I have to say about it. And basically, it's not arm bars and stuff like that. It's all the mental philosophies, the techniques, the learning, the learning uh, MMA most effectively. And I'll give you a short, tell you what my, not give credit to my typing teacher back in high school. She said, don't focus on speed, just focus on accuracy and speed will come. So it's that kind of stuff, it's that kind of thinking that leads to, to faster progress that, that typically makes you have to slow down, which is baby steps was the first thing I talk about. As always, I will have a post-fight video after the main card, about 30 minutes to an hour afterwards, and it'll be, I'll put it in the playlist, it'll be in the channel, and it'll be out on the regular search too, so. Anyway, I've got a playlist if you want to watch all the videos on the UFC 108, and I'll put a little uh, bubble up and you just click on it and go to the playlist and you can see what I've got out there. Until next time, later folks.